You're never gonna believe it, but it's still raining. It hasn't stopped for probably more than a few hours. So we're learning to just embrace the rain because we're realizing it's not gonna go anywhere right now. That's a lot of wind. This is Jason and this is our floating home curiosity. We're currently stuck in the remote island country of Tonga because of COVID. The borders are closed and there hasn't been a tourist in sight for a year now. Aside from us, but I don't think we count anymore. It's cyclone season here, also known as the wet season. The humid season or the unrelenting grows faster than you can scrub mold season. But because we're here and not going anywhere in this weather, I'm committed to finally learning something I have wanted to do for years. Like the apocalypse is coming. Look at that. Oh, so much rain during sunset. So crazy looking. Oh. That boat right there, that is our new friend, John. He is an interesting character that I'm excited to introduce you to and if, well, if the weather cooperate, we'll make it over to his boat and we'll give you a tour. But for today, we're actually going to take a little adventure into town. It's gonna to be quite the ride into Niafu, the main village, where we're gonna meet him at the library. And well, I'll tell you what we're gonna, well, you'll see what we're gonna be up to when we get there. Oh, there went our non-rainy weather window to make it over. Oof, it's gonna be a wet one. This is either gonna be a great idea or a terrible idea. <laughs> Only time will tell. Okay, put on my shirt and we can go. John's boat and I'm just going to attach to the same spot because the beach is shallow and I don't know what's going to happen with the guy. We don't want to end up high and dry. Here it comes. Coming in hot. <laughs> I don't know why that was so scary. Let's watch Nikki. Okay. All right, good luck. Yeah, that didn't look very promising. Okay. Was as bad as I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> Oh, 
pig. More piggies. See if we can sneak up on them. Here we go, up the big hill. Gotta put the camera away for this. I didn't even care. Jeez. brakes on this. I have to hold the camera with my left hand and that's my brake hand so I don't really have brakes when I'm holding the camera. Hey guys. Smallest ones we can find. So this is the Vava'u Public Library and our new friend John teaches ukulele lessons here. He is teaching all the kids to play ukulele or pretty much anybody that wants to show up. So it's me and uh, the local kids learning how to play ukulele. This is our neighbor John. Cooking with gas. How long have you been playing music? Um, I've been playing all my life. His story is one of nine lives lived all over the world and best told in evening light with a whiskey in hand. But for now, here's the incredibly short version. That is Spanish. That, huh? that's Spanish. Yeah, that's the Spanish chord. He's a musician and passionate social worker from New Zealand who now, on his ninth life, finds himself living aboard a small sailboat in Tonga. Being that John is a musician, one of the locals asked him if he would come by and tune a ukulele that was gifted to the library. I've never really been much of a ukulele player, but I love it now. I'm learning, you know. <laughs> I, I learned enough to teach. And I've just sort of keep picking things up, and it's, it's a lovely instrument. While he was tuning, he caught the attention of a little girl who was very curious. There's a little girl called Olima. So John offered to give her a couple of lessons. Without her, we wouldn't have got as far as we got, because <laughs> she kind of teaches the other kids. So she learned the stuff first, and then she teaches the younger kids, and you know, she takes her time and teaches them. So I come in, and the kids have already, like when I came in today, they were already strumming and playing. Nice. When I walked in the door, yeah. This was all less than three months ago. Now we're doing whole songs, or so half, in, half songs. Yeah, but in three months, we've yeah. gone from nobody knew how to play to now everybody's yeah. got at least one or two songs down, which is, yeah. yeah. And I've just started. This is my my second time in class, and I, I've got two songs down, yeah. ish. But yeah, it's the most yeah. I've ever played. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So it's sort of like I think there's a nice thing when you play in a group. Yeah. You know, you just sort of pick up on that kind of atmosphere. And what's terrific is we have all the ages from from this this little girl here to um, to Benny and. Um, Cyril, who's from France. <laughs> Winnie, who runs this whole thing. Poor girl. <laughs> so we have all these ages and all these nationalities, which is pretty cool. And yourself from the States. Yeah. Yeah. So it's for any, any and everybody who wants to show up, basically. Pretty much, yeah. Yeah, it's a nice, um, it's a nice thing that we can kind of come together and play songs. And, you know what I mean? It's nice for everybody. John was blown away by how many kids started showing up. So he decided to purchase and donate a few ukuleles to the library. Now they could use at least a dozen more. And of course, none of this would be possible without the undeniably patient librarian Whitney. Who's your star student right now? Well, Besides me, I mean, obviously. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, well, I would say Winnie. 
really, because she has to put up with us, and she has to put up with hearing the same song again and again, and (laughs) singing the same song again and again. And again and again and again. (laughs) (laughs) Well, that's it for us. Ukulele lesson is over. We're going to head to the store and then start our hour trek back to the... uh, the beach. Okay. I got my engine's warmed and ready. Oh, good. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> We're right behind you. Okay. See you later, John. So cool. See ya. We heard you have cheese. Yeah. Yeah. Cheese. We've only been coming in for what? Three months? Any cheese? No. Any cheese? I don't know about one about today. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Stimulation got off the boat. <laughs> right, for the first time in several days. Mm. Total good day. We'd love to play you the song that Nikki learned, and I would sing it. <laughs> but we're afraid to do that because <laughs> of copyright laws. And I'm fairly certain that Bob Marley would not be <laughs> cool with us earning YouTube money off of his song. So we will not do that. But I will find something eventually that I can play that I should be able to upload to YouTube. And we'll do that as a... Just to prove that I am actually learning yeah. because I have carried this <laughs> thing around for well over. To, I bought this long before we ever became full time travelers. Well, not yeah. long before, right about yeah. the same time. And was like, oh, I'm going to learn how to play the ukulele. Yeah, 10 years later, here we go. Let's get out that ukulele and start playing. Better late than never. <laughs> and it makes us think about the library. And it's, like, it's such just a cool little place for such a small island out here, I think there's a few thousand people that live in this little island group to have a place for kids to go and hang out and learn theater and play music. And and it is like the yeah. hangout. There are always kids, especially like Saturdays are huge for the yeah. library. There are sometimes a hundred kids that will show up and that's a lot for this little tiny island. So it is the place to be. So what we want to do is take any of our YouTube earnings from this video and donate it to the library so they can buy more ukuleles. There's a, I think we can get some from the main island, which is... Yeah, there's a source there that apparently that maybe has yeah. more, so we can purchase them there and then donate them to the library because right now they've only got a handful and they have a lot of kids that are showing up to play and then everybody's having to share. So we think, all right, this is one thing we can do to give back to this local community. And we feel like we can do that because of people like you, I mean, especially our patrons that make these videos possible. It gives us the flexibility and the opportunity to give back whenever we can. So, yes. so which feels really awesome. Yeah. Super stoked to be able to do that. And that's why I wanted to tell you because yeah. it is thanks to you guys that we're able to do stuff like this. So thank you very much. Thanks um, for watching. Thanks yeah. for joining us. When borders open back up, come by the library. Yeah. <laughs> if you make it out here at Tonga. You can get a ukulele performance. Uh, Will be from us, but the locals. Yeah. Bye, guys. Bye. See ya.